Alright you guys, so I just finished watching Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse and um, it's a 10 out of 10. I'm gonna give it to you straight up. It's a 10 out of 10, bro. This this might be, I wouldn't say the best Spider-Man movie. Well, like besides like putting the live action aside, bro, this, this, this might like one of my favorite Spider-Man movie films like ever, bro. Cause like it has action, heart, humor suspense like everything and the animation is good you guys gotta go watch this movie in the theaters man because this this is ah oh, this is this this movie was crazy bro it was crazy it has a lot of easter eggs and cameos avoid spoilers because like i feel i'm gonna feel bad if you get spoiled bro i i, I wouldn't want you guys to be spoiled because there's some like easter eggs and spoilers in here like I have it up there. It's my favorite movie of the year so far. Like I put it up. Like it's it's over John Wick. It's over Guardians. It's over the Flash. Like nah, this movie. I think this movie is gonna be everything. Um, I still gotta watch Transformers, but I don't even think Transformers is gonna like pass this. Just go watch it, man. It's 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 a beautiful movie, man. Like it has the heart is there. It's everything, everything that you like from the first one. They 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 did way more on this one. It's the same as the first one, and they did way more. And the animation, like the colors, like everything, the swinging, the Spider Man, like all the Spider Man, the villain, everything was perfect. Like it was good. It was good. The story, everything was good. Ten out of ten. Again, Into the Spider Verse was a ten out of ten. Across the Spider Verse is a ten out of ten. And I know you guys are probably wondering which one was better. In my opinion, they're both equally good. I like the first one. I like the second one. They're both equally good. I think I'm I'm a, I'm gonna rewatch this one and I'm gonna see if it's. I think this one might be a little bit better, a little bit by slightly, but I don't know. Um, but they're both equally good. They're both a 10 out of 10. Go watch it across the Spider Verse. Uh, you guys don't want to miss this one. All right, you guys. So we're gonna be trying the prime lemonade. <laughs> We're gonna be trying the Prime Lemonade Hydration Drink today, and um, and I got my boy Holly behind the camera. You already know. So um, this is the new one. This is the lemonade one. So we're gonna be trying it out. So let's see. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty good. It's actually pretty good. Um, it's actually really good. Um, I would give this out of 10 probably like a eight or a nine eight or a nine this, this is really good actually really good what's up guys it's your boy el javi sol i'm also going to be trying the new prime flare lemonade let's see what happens you hear that mm. yeah It's too good. It's too good. It's too good. It's too good, bro. I'm telling you, it's too good. It's too good. This thing, this thing's amazing, bro. This, this lemon lime, lemon lemonade prime. This is their hydration drink. Oh, did you guys see that? Yeah. It was really good. It is really. It got good, me out of my seat. Uh, taste wise, uh, I think it's better than lemon lime. Obviously, 100%. Uh, I honestly like it. I'll probably give it. 8.5 to like 8.7. I highly recommend this one. Okay guys, this is my official ranking so far as of the all of the primes I've tasted. Uh, first, I put the blue raspberry at number one. This is a close second. Not too far away from the first one, but I, I like lemonade prime. So I'll put it as my second one. Third, uh, tropical punch. Fourth one, ice pop. And fifth one, lemon lime. And the one I least liked, unfortunately, was orange. But out of all that, that's my uh, ranking for Prime so far. I would put this one behind the blue one. As, as of right now, like, my favorite one is still the blue one, the raspberry one. And then I'll put this one, the lemonade. And then I'll put the ice popsicle one. And then I'll probably put, like, the other ones, like, l more last. Like, the red one, I'll probably put that one last. The orange one, I haven't chased it, but Javi said it is bad. But, yeah, guys, this one is not that bad. My second favorite. Y'all should go try it out. Prime Lemonade A. KSI, you did good, man. Y'all did good with this Prime. KSI, Logan Paul, y'all did good, man. Fire drink. Fire drink. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we just finished watching... Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. This is my second watching. 
This is Javi's first. So Javi, what's your thoughts, initial thoughts? Uh, I left, as a Spider-Man fan, I left very satisfied. Everything was amazing from the color, the animation, the whole movie, the story. It's crazy to say that Beyond the Spider-Verse is literally next year. Next year. Next crazy. year. Please watch this movie if you're a Spider-Man fan because you're going to love it. Avoid spoilers, like, because, like, man, like, I feel like you got to avoid them. You gotta avoid them to, to actually like experience it in the theater or whenever you guys want go go watch it but for me again uh the emotion is there like everything like the character dynamics is like so good like the relationship between gwen and spy and miles and the parents too like all of that the story is just great it's there and yeah guys like for me right now like i, I would put across the spider verse over into the spider verse for right now this is, this is my favorite film of the year so far uh, and I think it will stay as the favorite from my favorite year of the year so far. So, yeah, there you guys have it. All right, but ratings, Javier, what's your rating? It has to be a ten out of ten. ten it really 10. does, like ten out of ten. Perfection, bro. Perfection. It's, it's, it's this is what I call peak cinema. Peak cinema, bro. That's, that's peak cinema. There you go, man. Ten out of ten. Although a lot of people like they complain about the ending. To me, I think that cliffhanger gives me more excited to the next one, and it's just like. I can't wait, man. We're gonna have to see what Beyond the Spider is, right? Yep. Yeah, that's it.